is the first day of school. I feel like I've been going to school forever and you guys probably feel the same way too. I still do not know what I want to do for the rest of my life because that scares me. I'm not going to get into the whole spiel early in this morning. So the classes that I have are ballet and Spanish. I have been dancing for 14 years of my life. I kind of stopped at like 16 years old and then I taught dance class. So I want to get back into it and I'm going to do a ballet and then I'm taking Spanish. I'm taking Spanish because my whole family knows Spanish. All my tias and my mom and my dad, they were all born in Mexico. So Spanish is their first language. I don't know. My parents just didn't teach me because they didn't want me to struggle in class like they did. Having Spanish their first language, like I think my mom learned english when she was i don't know in high school i'm not entirely sure but anyways let's get ready does not start until 10 30 it's 8 40 right now so i still have a ton of time left let's go make some coffee and some breakfast okay i have my breakfast my egg with chicken and rice and then my coffee Okay, I'm already running late, so I've got my little thing on, my tights. I'm wearing these over. Oh. Got this jacket over too. This ballet shoes. This has been my favorite perfume like this whole entire month. Luckily, it's in a to-go container, so I'm taking this with me. Okay, I don't care how late I am, I'm wearing a bow. Bow's on. Okay, let's head out to class. Okay, so I didn't mention this, but my school is 30 minutes away from my house. So that's why I was afraid I was like gonna end up being late because I also still have to find parking. But it says I'm gonna arrive at 10 14. My class does not start until 10 30. But thank god I still have time to find parking and walk over there. So yeah, I'm doing good. Okay, we made it into the car. It is so cold outside. Ugh. Thank God I brought my blush and my lip liner with me because I looked so dead after ballet. I'm in the mood for like a little snack. So we're gonna go to my favorite bakery and we're gonna get a little treat. I've been back for a while. I'm back into my PJ pants. 
I cleaned my room because it was dirty. I left it such a mess. And I also did some laundry because I'm going to Florida in about two days already. Oh my God. I'm trying to pack everything now so that way I'm not in a rush and I only have to pack like hair, makeup, and skincare. I actually feel like I got a lot done. I've only been home for like two hours. Also, the reason why I went to a bakery was because I kept smelling myself. Oops. And it's because of this freaking perfume. It smells like vanilla. This one is from Scentbird. That vanilla scent was just making me want something sweet. This is like the strongest vanilla scented perfume that I have. And it smells so, so good. And I've actually gotten so many compliments wearing this one. I think now that I know like my signature scents and like what I want to smell like during the day, I've been getting so many more compliments on how I smell. Which is crazy because I remember in high school, I would just spray a whole bunch of random perfumes that I would find in my sister dresser and i've never gotten like a compliment of how i smelled but now that like i know perfumes and understand perfumes are literally like the cherry on top of whatever you're wearing what vibe you're going for for the day that's also why i like scentbird a lot this video is sponsored by scentbird if you're like a perfume lover like me or you're trying to find your signature scent scentbird is a fragrance subscription that allows you to try different fragrances for 17 dollars a month 17 dollars switched over to the bed because i want to sit down and hair is back a bun. Got these four fragrances from Scentbird and then they each come with the card of what perfume is which. I'm gonna show you guys this one first because I've literally used it this whole entire month but it comes in like this really nice container. This one is vanilla grapefruit, pink grapefruit, lime, cedarwood, and Madagascar vanilla. This is my next favorite. This one is Tommy Bahama. This one has notes of sparkling lemon, orange flower. It smells very clean and fresh. You can definitely smell the lemon in this one. I love Burberry and the fact that they have Burberry perfumes on Scentbird. This one has notes of almond, vanilla, lime, sugar, and pear. This one kind of reminds me of this one. This one's more of that creamy, and this one has more of like that citrusy smell. Okay, the last one is dime. Notes of apple, mandarin, juniper, bamboo, and cedarwood. These three are my favorite, and then this one is like it's like an iffy, like so-so. But that's also why I love Scentbird because I don't have to commit to like a huge bottle. Like I still like Dime a lot and I would wear it occasionally, but I wouldn't see myself buying a big bottle of perfume of it. But with Scentbird, with each fragrance, you get a 30-day supply to try new fragrances before deciding if you want to buy like the actual full bottle. I'll probably buy a full bottle of this. If you're a perfume lover like me, or if you want to try different perfumes, try out different scents, see what your signature scent is, I'll have the link in my description box below. You can also use my code Juliana for 55% off on your first month. I need to sew my ballet shoes. Ah. I need to sew this pair on i literally just tied it <laughs> in a bottle chocolate wild thick right <laughs> Chicken for dinner with mushrooms. With mushrooms, chicken and mushrooms, and then mashed potatoes. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mashed potatoes is like my comfort food. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've been packing this whole time. I packed for winter, summer, and spring because I heard that Florida weather is like kind of like all over the place. So I have no idea how the weather is gonna be over there. The only thing I have yet to pack is my pajamas, which I honestly should pack first because I don't know how I'm gonna have room for my PJs. I'm done with packing for today. Also, I've decided to dye my hair today. My roots are all grown out. And I also need to cut my bangs. Okay, I'm 
all showered. It's like midnight already. I'm so tired as you can tell, especially because I'm on my period. So I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> this is my final hair. It's literally the same color. I just needed to touch up the roots because you can see like my black roots showing through. And then obviously my little trim on my bangs and then a little bit around my face. I'm not going to bed yet. I'm gonna edit for a little bit and then I'll slowly, surely start like knocking out. Mm -hmm. 